सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर नंबर टू ग्रोइंग अप विथ कॉन्फिडेंस पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन टू पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट ग्रोइंग अप एज एडोलेसेंस इन क्लास एट थ्रू योर साइंस टेक्स्ट बुक ग्रोथ इज अ नेचुरल फिनोमिन ग्रोथ इज अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर of all living beings you must have seen seeds growing into seedlings which then develop into plants or pups growing into dogs kitten into cats and so on similarly an infant passes through different phases of growth from childhood to adolescence to adulthood although all the stages of growth and development are significant it has been universally recognized that the stage of adolescence is the most critical one This chapter deals with the pattern of human growth with special emphasis on the growth spurt that takes place during adolescence which means by rapid changes in the body psyche and behavior an adolescent well aware of pubertal changes must be able to understand and accept the changes with confidence and not fall into the trap of escapist strategies such as drug abuse Growing up with confidence needs proper understanding of various issues and concerns related to adolescence such as growth and development self concept and self esteem anxiety and depression nutritional needs and sexual desires or any kind of harassment understanding these issues and concerns will help develop a positive attitude towards gender concerns and building healthy relationships 2.2 growth a natural phenomenon recognition of adolescence as a distinct stage in the development of human beings began during the early part of the 20th century growth during adolescence is mostly portrayed as an exclusive characteristic of this period making one believe that growth during other stages childhood adulthood and old age is hardly significant but you would have observed that we have all been growing up since we were born without consciously realizing it we can appreciate the phenomenon of growth during all stages of human life by undertaking the following activities now we have a box on the page box number 2.1 it reads adolescence is the period of transition between childhood and adulthood in human life span It is generally been between 10 to 19 years of age. It is a period of rapid physical, cognitive, socio-emotional and behavioral changes. WHO states that there are certain attributes that mark adolescence which include appearance of secondary sex characteristics, puberty, attainment of reproductive maturity, development of adult mental processes and adult identity and transition from total socio economic dependence to relate independence page number 17 2.2.1 what is growth let us understand what is growth growth may be defined as the quantitative increase in size or mass when weight is measured in kilograms and height in centimeters from time to time we can know how much growth has occurred in a child when the organs of the body grow the number the size and the weight of their cells increase growth can be measured in terms of the change in length width depth and volume in a specific time period although growth is a characteristic of living beings in all living beings the rate of growth also depends on nutrition and living conditions including the environment at home 2.2.2 growth development and maturation occur side by side growth is a quantitative increase in size through increase in number of cells or elongation of cells development may be defined as the progression of changes both qualitative and quantitative which lead to an undifferentiated mass of cells to a highly organized state maturation is a measure of functional capacity For example, a child begins to speak by making unintelligible sounds. 
Then, slowly it acquires the capacity for speaking in a manner which is easily understood by others. Another example of maturation is when a child begins to crawl and then matures to a state of walking on two legs. Similarly, organs of reproduction reach maturity at the end of puberty. 2.3. Determinants of Growth and Development Although age-related events of growth, development and maturation in human beings are mostly the same in all cultures, however, some variations do exist. This is because growth is affected by both genetic and the environmental factors. Growth is also influenced by the socio-cultural context. For example, in the economically backward families, the growth of family members gets stunted due to undernourishment. But even in economically sound households, the members may not be taking a nutritious diet. Many children who eat junk food all the time become obese. In fact, growth and development of a human being is a result of a combination of heredity and environment. Time for some activity now. Activity 2.1 You may collect pictures from old magazines or newspapers and paste them on a sheet of paper to exhibit the life history of a plant or an animal or stages of human life cycle beginning from infancy to old age. You may even draw them. Second activity In your diary, list the changes that you have undergone from the time you were 9 year olds till now. Mention physical, emotional as well as psychological changes which you experienced. Prepare a write-up on those changes, particularly focusing on whether the changes that made you feel surprised or stressed till you realized that these changes are normal and natural. You may discuss these changes with your friends. You will realize that these changes during adolescence do not begin at the same age in all the growing children. Page number 18 2.3.1 Role of Heredity Parents contribute genes to their biological offspring. So, the children tend to resemble their parents in stature, body proportions, body composition and pace of growth and development. Individual genes, however, are not solely responsible for growth, nor do they directly cause growth. Several genes jointly control growth. The hormonal and nervous systems also have an important role to play. Hormones from endocrine glands provide the requisite environment for gene action throughout life. For example, growth spur during adolescence requires the secretion of adequate amounts of growth hormones into blood so that the genes regulating growth of skeleton, muscles and fat become active to the required extent. Because of inheritance, children of tall parents are likely to be tall and children of short parents tend to be short. One needs to understand the role of heredity in the context of development of body physique. Therefore, one should not develop a negative or positive image of oneself on the basis of one's physique. Also, some individuals have a constitution which makes them look tall, ectomorphic, some medium-sized, mesomorphic, and some have a small but rounded built, endomorphic. Thus, a normally growing adolescent should not base self-image on these factors as they are beyond one's control. 2.3.2 Role of Environment Growth and development are also influenced by environmental factors. The role of nutrition, child-rearing practices and the psychosocial environment provided by the family is very critical. Nutrition A nutritious diet favors growth. Growth requires multiplication of cells or enlargement of cells, which depends on an adequate supply of nutrients. In fact, at every stage, the body needs a basic level of nutrients for its sustenance. Nutrition is, therefore, the most important external factor for growth. You have learnt in earlier classes in your science lessons that essential nutrients in a human diet are Number 1. Proteins and Amino Acids Number 2. Carbohydrates and Sugar 
Number 3. Lipids, Fats and Oils Number 4. Minerals, Macronutrients, Calcium, Phosphorus, Sodium, Potassium, Sulphur, Chlorine, Magnesium Micronutrients, Iron, Zinc, Manganese, Iodine, Cobalt, Copper, Molybdenum, Nickel Number 5. Vitamins Vitamins are of two kinds. Fat soluble. Vitamins A, D, E, K. Water soluble. Thiamine. Riboflavin. Niacin. Folic acid. Number 6. Water. Now there is a box on the page. Box number 2.2. It reads, Deficiency of iodine in food causes retardation of mental and physical growth. Can you now explain the importance of consuming iodized salt? Page number 19 Nutrients are obtained from food. Both quality and quantity of food are important. Food provides energy and energy in kilocalories is required not only for growth but also for maintenance of the body, its working as well as reproduction. A balanced diet contains all the nutrients in appropriate quantities. Undernutrition during childhood results in slow growth and delayed maturation. If continued into adolescence, it leads to short stature adulthood. Nutritional needs during adolescence are more than that during childhood. Dietary deficiencies retard the growth. The nutrient requirement, however, varies among adolescents since rate of physical growth is not the same in all. In populations with food shortage, growth of children is delayed. They may be shorter or of less weight due to malnutrition or undernutrition. Time for some activity now. Activity number 2.2 Read the following case studies carefully and reflect on the question asked at the end of each case study. Case 1 14 years old Suleiman and George were very good friends who also shared their birth date. Suleiman's parents were quite tall. While Suleiman was 5 feet 6 inches tall, George was only 4 feet 9 inches. George wanted to be of the same height as Suleiman and would hold on to a rod and hang from it but to no avail. Then they approached the counsellor in school. Guess what counselling was given by the counsellor? Now case number 2. Suresh was a small built boy studying in class 9. Not only was he short and skinny but also had a tired look on his face. After a medical examination by the school doctor, parents took good care of Suresh. By the time Suresh got into class 11, he was as grown up as his classmates. The doctor gave no medicines to Suresh. How do you think Suresh attained normal growth? 2.3.3 The Psychosocial Environment The quality of emotional and psychological environment in which a child lives and grows do influence the hormonal balance of the body, thereby affecting growth. Growth gets retarded as a result of emotionally stressful environment. Physical and psychological stress together have been found to influence growth and development in girls with respect to menarche and menstruation. The age of attaining puberty among boys and girls varies. Some adolescents show signs of early maturation, while others mature late. Highly competitive track athletes who enter training before puberty have been found to show delayed menarche. It is possible to explain the delay due to the elevated levels of certain hormones in blood during severe physical exercise. Page number 20 These hormones delay the onset of menstruation. The timing of menarche is possibly the best researched adolescent event known to be affected by factors like heredity, nutrition, illness, socio-economic status and psychological condition. 2.3.4 Socioeconomic Status Socioeconomic status also affects growth. Poverty and low socioeconomic status lowers the rate of growth in youngsters. Such retarded growth in socially weaker sections of the society is linked to 
heavy physical labor and the stress associated with it. Malnutrition and an unhygienic environment is also not congenial for growth. We have a case study for you. Listen to it carefully and reflect. This is the case number 3. Neeta and Sheena have been friends since they were 5 years old. They sit together in class. They come to school together as they are also neighbors. When they were 12, Neeta began to menstruate. Sheena showed breast development but no signs of menarche even when she was 14. Both friends spoke to the teacher about their worry regarding Sheena. What do you think the teacher said which rid them of their anxiety? Now, activity time. Activity number 2.3. Read the conversation between Srinivas and his friend Ali. Srinivas of class 9, age 13, who is short and skinny, is teased by his classmates who call him Dwarfi, Bona, Gitta. Srinivas stops going to school. One day, his class friend Ali meets him in the market and inquires about his absence from school. Ali says, A lot has been done in the class and exams are approaching. Why are you not coming to school? Even the teacher was commenting on your absence. I am your friend. Tell me what is wrong. I shall try and help you. Srinivas, he breaks down. We are six siblings living with our parents in a small shanty. Chugi, my father is alcoholic. My mother works harder than her body can allow for earning some money for the family. There is never enough to eat. We are always fighting. On top of that, the bullies of the class tease me. In any case, I need to supplement family income by taking up a job. Analyze the situation, which led to slower growth and natural development in Srinivas. What are the factors affecting the growth of Srinivas? If you were his friend, what will you do? 2.4 Self concept and self esteem. Growth and development during adolescence do affect self concept and self esteem. The concept of self becomes evident in boys and girls as they enter their teenage. Several changes begin to occur in their body and psyche. As a result, the attention is focused towards self. As the concept of self develops, it makes the teenager develop less dependence on parents. Self-image becomes important not only for oneself but also in the eyes of others. Page number 21 There is a tendency for looking into the mirror and admiring oneself. Grooming oneself to look beautiful or handsome to others is always at the back of the mind of young boys and girls. Support and guidance from parents and teachers and friendship with peers help in developing positive self-esteem. Self-esteem is also a kind of self-recognition. It is important for growing up with confidence. The consequences of low self-esteem and self-image are detrimental to efficiency. Try to have high self-esteem and a positive self-image. Peer group is important because friends and peers may help to sort out confusions regarding rapidly occurring changes in the body. Similar changes in friends of the same age reassure that all is normal. As adolescents grow, they emotionally move further from parents to become independent adults. Acceptance among peers becomes important. Company of wrong peers or adults becomes risky during early adolescence. Now, there is a box on the page which says box number 2.3. It reads, Did you know, awareness of positive qualities makes one feel good and enhance self-esteem. When we feel good, we respond to every situation more positively. Appreciating others makes us feel good. 2.5. Psychological Security for developing self-confidence and self-esteem, it is essential to have a stress-free environment. Adolescence is a period of losses, loss of childhood, loss of sexual innocence, loss of freedom from responsibility. Adolescents need parental support to cope with these losses. Psychological security depends a lot on how a boy or girl was valued by the family as a child. 
You may have seen that teenagers who have experienced encouragement from others with respect to values and parental expectations tend to be psychologically more secure than those who are subjected as children to shame and punishment. A psychologically secure teenager is able to concentrate on studies, have respect for parents, spend time judiciously on hobbies and establish healthy relationships. The adolescent attains a beautiful physique, figure and face. Another gain is the maturity of brain, which leads to rational thinking and better understanding of subjects and issues. But to ignore the losses and carry the gains forward, support from parents or guardians, teachers and peers goes a long way in helping the youngsters cope with changes occurring during adolescence. Activity time. Activity number 2.4. Write 10 sentences on me in my own eyes in your diary. Analyze your writing. Do you feel that you have desirable self-esteem and self-confidence? Express your feeling in three sentences. Figure 2.1 Peer Group In this figure, we have an image of four adolescents. They are enjoying their life because they are good friends and spending good time together which ultimately leads to high self-esteem and confidence. The source of this figure is a poster designed by Lakshmi Narayan Mochi from Class 12 JNV, Mandafia, Chittorgarh, Rajasthan. Page number 22 Box 2.4 Read carefully the following situations and try to respond to the given questions. Situation 1 Shalini and her friends in class 9 were preparing for the school's annual function. All of them were very excited. Anita, one of Shalini's classmates, mocked at her. You are so dark. We will need additional light to be able to see you on the stage. Shalini's good friend Madhu felt bad for Shalini and advised her to use a cream to make her complexion lighter. You already done so well. Can you imagine how nice you will look on the stage if you had a lighter complexion? Shalini smiled and said, Thank you, Madhu. I appreciate your concern, but I am happy with my complexion. My teacher and I am working hard on my dance practice and I am confident that our efforts and your good wishes will lead to a good performance. Number 1. What do you think of Anita's remark about Shalini? Number 2. Do you think that having a light complexion is important for being beautiful? Number 3. Do you think that Madhu is trying to perpetuate the stereotype that having a light complexion is an important component of being beautiful? Number 4. What do you think of Shalini's response? Situation 2. Raja has an overbearing father who also becomes cruel if he is angry at Raja. Raja hates to go home. He roams around with his friends till dinner time. He feels he is good for nothing. Number 1. How can Raja's plight be improved? Number 2. Who can help and how? Substantiate your answer with reasons. A. Teacher B. Counselor C. Classmates D. Parents E. All 2.5.1 Psychological insecurity and mental illness. Psychological insecurity is expressed as anxiety and depression and in severe cases may result in psychosis, which is a mental disorder. Psychologically insecure individuals may even attempt suicide. You are just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yado. Technical coordinator, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist. Shanu Muksim Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India